welcome to MyWealth.com. I'm Bob O'Brien. I'm one of the senior instructors with the courses. Welcome to the blog for the, the day. Here's why buy and hold vesting is dead. Now, the last thing I want you to interpret, you know, from what I noticed my years as a financial planner is that people tend to go too far to extremes. So I don't want to be misinterpreted here as someone that's trying to encourage people to be just doing a lot of short-term trading. Um, but I think that's where we got into a problem when it came to buy and hold. A lot of people interpret it as, you know, don't trade a lot in the short term and, you know, buy and hold. That's where really we created, I think, in the investment world, a, a culture of where people just threw their money at the market and they just went to sleep and they didn't monitor things and they didn't evolve as an investor. And, and that's what you really want to make certain that you're doing. That's what my wealth is all about. And that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to educate you. We're looking to teach you. We're looking to try to keep you engaged about what's going on in the market, whether it be the real estate market, the stock market, the bond market, the foreign currency market, because all these things are intertwined into one global economy. As always, make certain that you check out the written blog at www.mywealth.com slash blog. Okay, buy and hold investing was, as most people know, it was never really born to begin with. Uh, it really was just a, a big misunderstanding for a, a strategy that, that was used by some. Um, the term was really just used to promote patience with investing, and somehow it, it turned into buy and, and go to sleep. Now, great investors like Warren Buffett, who are buy and hold investors, they would never turn their back to the market, an industry, a sector, or a company. In addition to that, um, this is not a buy and hold stock market that we're in right now. Many people have referred this, to this as, as a trader's market, and I, I would tend to agree with that. Um, with historical moves by the Fed and the Treasury, um, we're going to see many stops and, and, and starts in, in the economy and, 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 and the stock market and the world economy. With all the free money, um, it makes the next recession down the road um, pretty visible before we're even out of, the, out of the recession that we're currently in. So these are the type of things you want to make certain that you're familiar with and, and that you have a strategy for. So don't wait. Get in a course. Get educated. Get to www.mywealth.com. I want to just give you one more reason why buy and hold investing is dead, or at least buy and hold as, as it's been known to be, or buy and go to sleep, is because of the fact that there's going to be some major regulation changes. Um, the, the old regulations were outdated, so there's going to be new regulations. And it's going to be an interesting to see the policies that come out of Washington, whether it be the SEC or, or and, and Congress and so forth, in terms of big companies. I mean, this is a major problem right now. We have banks that are too big to fail, insurance companies that are too big to fail, um, when they really deserve to fail. But unfortunately, it will create such havoc for everyone, innocent people, by these major institutions failing. It does make sense to save these companies and unwind them over long periods of time. But we can't be doing that all the time. So that's another major reason why people need to become much more actively, not so much actively investing, but actively monitoring markets, actively monitoring the stock market, the bond market, the foreign currency market, because we're in a global economy. And that's exactly what we help you do. I'm one of the senior instructors here with the courses, so you definitely want to check out a course. Figure out a course that's good for you, the investing course, the currency course, personal finance course, or take all three. You won't regret it. I look forward to seeing the course. My name is Bob O'Brien. Have a great day.